Hey guys, today I'm gonna to unbox and review an inflator. It's an electric pump that's battery operated that will work for inflating paddle boards or any other type of device you may have. So let's check it out. Here's what the um, kit comes with. So here's the inflator hose. Uh, this end will obviously go onto the pump. And then um, this is the, and these are all the different adapters for whatever you're gonna be inflating. Comes with instructions. Um, they are in English. It has two uh, settings, a high pressure setting, uh, 0 PSI to 16 PSI, and then a low pressure setting of um, 0 to 0.6 PSI. So that's cool. Oh, it tells you a bunch of stuff in there. So here is the pump itself. It's got a nice little carrying handle, it looks like. Yeah. And also a USB charging cord. Like I said, here's the pump. Feels a very nice quality, uh, like an ABS plastic. It's hard, it's firm. Probably weighs about, I don't know, uh, eight pounds or so. Um, you can see it's got um, four orange buttons on it. They're plastic, or yeah, plastic buttons, not rubber. Um, they have some white printing on it for the letters. It's got an LCD screen. And then it has uh, the high side to inflate, the center. Um, for deflating, which you'll just put the hose on that, and then an inflate side for low pressure. So then what you'll do is you'll take the hose right here, and if you're gonna use the high pressure side, connect it there, the low pressure side, connect it there, or the deflate, you're just gonna slide it straight in. It just looks like it's, um, it doesn't really screw in, it just presses in like that. So that way you can use the pump to deflate, to basically pump deflate, to suck the air out of whatever um, uh, the inflatable product is that you're using. If we turn this over, uh, you can see that very nice, got like some foam uh, feet on it to help for it with vibration. Here's the on off switch, we'll flip it on. Then you have your enunciator lights to show current state of charge plus your uh, USB charging port there. This is the front side of it, what it looks like, the business end. So um, your high pressure side, deflate right here, low pressure side. Very nice. I like that little handle. So um, you can see it's got the current PSI. Uh, you can adjust the pressure that you're going to. So if we're using the high uh, side, you know, set it to whatever, mine recommended um, paddleboard says 15 PSI, so I'd set it there. And then to turn it on, you just press the center. And there you go. Um, uh, then if you're gonna use the low side, there's the low power. And you can hear it, it's changed, uh, it's audibly a different sound. So um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna monitor your pressure as you start to inflate. So it'll start out of zero, obviously, with uh, no, if you don't have any uh, air in your inflatable. And as it continues to um, inflate, you'll see the active pressure on, or the current, the, the current pressure right here on the gauge. And then, like I said before, if before what you will set where you want it to shut off at the pressure. So that's where I'll have it, and it'll pump it up to that, and it should shut off. So let's uh, go ahead and test it and see how this thing does. Okay, so I have my paddleboard right here. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack it. Then the pump's obviously right here. We'll do. So I'll put it on the high side. Like such. I'll go ahead and open the paddle board. Screw that up. Then I will just insert this. Let's see here. Like such. And then turn it. Here we have it. And then I will go to the high, turn it on. Well, I'll make sure the pressure's right. So 15. It says right here on my paddleboard, 
Oh, 12 PSI. Good thing I checked, so I'll bump this down to 12. There we go, then turn on the high. And look, it's 329. So it just hit 12 PSI, which we had it set to, and it shut off. If we want to increase that, we can just bump it up to maybe 13, hit high. All right, 13 PSI. And right now it's, uh, so it's taking about 10 minutes or so. Um, a little longer than I would have suspected, but whatever. I'm not huffing and puffing and breathing hard. So then to disconnect it, you'll just... To deflate it, unscrew it. Oh, and you can see, so it only burned through one LED, so about 25% to do that. So then to pump it out, you slide that in there and then reconnect this. That did a great job. So suck all the air out. Let's see. Maybe like this. Let's see if there's any more in there I can push out. Yep. There we go. I'll just turn this back in. What's up? Put the cap back on. There you have it. It's ready for storage. So, still on. Still three out of four LCDs, um, 352. So about 20 minutes in total to inflate and um, let the air out. It's probably, this thing's okay for inflating. If you just take the valve on a paddleboard or whatever, open it up and just put weight on it and you probably deflate it faster just using your body weight. And then maybe use the pump to suck the remaining air out. Um, yeah, but obviously it's a pump for you know, inflating, uh, and that's what I would use it for. So overall, I think it's a decent value for the money. I actually was able to blow that thing up in three minutes with an air pump, you know, a manual hand pump, and this took 10 to maybe 15 minutes to inflate. So it's a little bit slower, but guess what? When I got done pumping it up with the hand pump, I was sweating and miserable. Um, where is this 10 minutes, 12 minutes later, you could be sitting there just relaxing, you know, enjoying the beautiful day, getting ready to go out and hit the water. So I think for the money then, it's a decent value. Um, if you want to spend the money and just kick back and have it to blow up your paddleboard, then go for it. I don't see why not. Um, all right. Well, I hope uh, I was able to answer any questions you may have, and I thank you very much for watching. Okay, that was my unboxing and review of the electric uh, portable inflator pump for paddleboards and whatnot. I hope I was able to answer any questions you may have. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you would, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you get updates when I post any new content. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. See you on the next one.